use glue. It's coming off. Whoa. Of our van. Uh, we are back home at my place, so we kind of want to change how the back of the van is looking. Maybe do a bit of renovation. We'd like to do like a kind of like a worktop area. Way. So right now, it's basically because this van it used to be a bed here before because we were living two friends together before Charlotte went with us and uh, right now it's actually just a kind of uh, living room as you can see there's a, there's a table and seats but and we never use it like this and here, here you can see my loom is this is where my loom is stored if you haven't seen the video about me weaving then I'll put it up here go check it out um, so yeah we want a better area to have my loom to maybe have like a workshop area where we can artwork so right now we're just gonna empty everything so we can have a look at what we want to do and let's go for some renovation so that's what it looks like now and I'm gonna remove now the table and let's see what it looks like so the aim here would be to have worked up and then under having storage and we are actually even thinking about getting rid of the top part of this here maybe having like a L shape to have more space and more light because we have light here and light here here is our mess <laughs> So that's all Charlotte's yarn. Mio is having fun because he's discovering a new place in the camp well, which is quite crazy. <laughs> Neil, there was a spot you didn't know, right? <laughs> no, I didn't know I can come here and, you know, look outside and... Oh, is it in uh, here? Uh, uh. <laughs> Flash. Shelf out. Next Seriously, turn. I have no idea who built that, but every screw is different. <laughs> every screw is different. It's like this vehicle, it's a Leica brand. It's meant to be like a really, really good brand of camping car. And every time we do some uh, bricolage, what do you say? DIY. Why? Every time we do some DIY on it, I discover stuff and you're like, what? I, I'm not professional, but come on, seriously. It is from 1996. Maybe yeah, back in 1996, they were like, yeah, whatever. We put this here, yeah, we put that there. They won't see it. <laughs> so, we managed to take out all of these, except for this bottom one. We haven't done that yet. But, if you can see this weird cable here, sorry, it's a bit dark. It's plastic. We're just trying to figure out what it's for and if we need it. <laughs> so we're still not 100% sure what it's for, but we found this hole down here. So we put a chopstick inside to see if it was the right hole. And if you look down here, this pipe is where the chopstick is inside so that means that it was something to do with the bathroom the chemical toilet no longer exists in the bathroom anyway so if it was to do with the chemical toilet then it doesn't really matter it's obviously not made for water yeah i think it's for air but then i don't understand why oh maybe to ventilate the smell of the chemical toilet no or? no, no? Uh, we have no idea what it's for but we're not sure it does anything anymore anyway so we're just gonna get rid of it and hope for the best. <laughs> okay guys, we're back in the van. We just went for some food at Enzo's place. 
and uh, it's raining like crazy outside so if you can't hear us sorry about that uh, we're just taking off the door we had to get a smaller screwdriver because these guys were too big door off Woo. now this thing Huh? What? Uh, maybe it's glued. You think it's glued? Just take the screwdriver with the thing Oh! That was a crack. The problem is the, the last one at the bottom. You can't get it. Okay. Coming off? Whoa. Okay, it's still stuck at the Whoa! <laughs> at the bottom. Ah, okay. No, it's not. Okay. okay. So first piece off. Oh. Whoa. Now this guy. Now how are we gonna get that off? And it's out! Spin! Whoa, it's a little bit scary. There's no turning back now. <laughs> <laughs> no turning back! So apparently those pipes, I asked my dad and he says it's, it's probably to have uh, air... Evacuation, evacuation from the... Evacuation for the dirty water and the black water. So black water, we don't have it anymore. And uh, our dirty water... We have it, but there must be a way to go around that to get rid of it. Question is now we need to seal it because the roof is open here, so we're gonna have to seal that. And then but I'm really now curious. we need to close up here because this is our outside, outside storage. storage. So I'm thinking that maybe I want that from here. I'm gonna do a separation. So this space here is inside and the outside storage, because here right now, I have my end in my outside storage. It's my my amp and my amp I'm gonna get rid of it. So I could get rid of that piece so it's actually storage. So we have one And one we one. don't have to redo the floor as well. Yeah guys you can see it's gonna be how that ugly was an old floor. That was the ugly old floor. I don't floor. know if you can see but it's like it's a kind of uh, vomit <laughs> vomit color pink vomit pink vomit and we changed it to this nice wood right, color <laughs> right. and this was the this was all the right. walls look like this it was more uh, poop vomit this one <laughs> poop vomit <laughs> and this beautiful plastic wood <laughs> that's very sexy yeah. okay so i think uh, the one of the renovation is good right now because mm. it's night time and it's very raining to, uh, outside so we are gonna hope for good weather tomorrow so we can do, do some stuff but anyway we we did, did it. good we did we it got it out bam yeah and look how much more space there is and okay. but there's no coming back <laughs> no there's no coming back now it's done all right well we'll see you guys tomorrow night Good morning guys! It is a second day of trying to renovate this area in the van. Do, 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 do. It's nice and sunny outside today, the rain has stopped and right now we're trying to pull this cable out here because it's. I think we figured out that it's connected to our uh, grey water tank so it's basically to ventilate any gases that are coming out of there if it's like fermenting or something. But we're just going to pull it outside so it goes straight outside because obviously it was going up here and out the roof. But we don't, It's. I think it's because there was also the black water tank but we don't have that anymore so it doesn't really matter. So we're just going to push it out and make it go outside. 
Woo! It's gone! Now we have a hole in the ground. And second hole in the ground. Two holes in the ground. Great. Okay, so now I'm going to remove all of these screws for this top piece of wood so that we can take it off and cut it down to the good size, um, which is here, so that we can remove this part. And then we have all of this extra space for storage inside because it's currently storage outside. Okay, let's go. Okay, all the screws are out and I just drew a line for the where we need to cut it. And now I'm going to see if I can just lift it up or not. We'll see how it works. <laughs> Maybe I'll wait for Enzo to come back. I did it! Oh! Oh, Neo. 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 Charlotte, oui. what are you doing? Sticking the screw out. It's really stiff. <laughs> Hello! Coucou! <laughs> Is that tea? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shortcut? Shortcut. <laughs> and we're off. Tatita! Tati Neo! Tatita! Neo's like, oh, no. there's a new door here. How do I get out of here? No. Good morning, guys. Uh, welcome to whatever day it is of transformation van so yesterday i didn't film i forgot to film yesterday but enzo he did the he closed off this so we made the storage smaller already and that's closed off and now we're just giving the floor a nice clean because we need to just fill up these holes here where we took out the pipe um, and we're just going to fill them up with some insulation foam and uh, after that we're going to lay the floor we have some of this floor that we use here it's left over we're going to lay that on top. So that's what we're going to do today. Slowly but surely. Oh, stop, stop, stop! <laughs> well, I don't know if it went uh, far enough. Now we need to saw this off and fill that as well. Whoa. Now the holes are all filled in. Woo! Next we need to sand this stuff and, and then we're gonna paint. We need to get the paint first. We are done with paint. We ordered the paint. So what's the program for today? Uh paint. Make the first part of the worktop. So paint for you, worktop for me. Then we can put the floor mm -hmm. and and today is sunny. Oh yeah, that was it. And <laughs> look outside. Today is sunny. Yeah, we just had like three days of rain and we couldn't do anything in the van. But today is blue sky, which means I can work outside. Yeah. Okay, breakfast finished. Let's get to work. 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 <laughs> Cool. Getting Al there with the paint. Almost done with the painting. A few more layers maybe. I reckon one more layer should be good. What do you think? Yeah, we'll let it dry and see how it goes. It looks so white when it's not dry. Yeah. Cool. So next, I already put fixation here and I just did the tabletop. So I just have to finish this and then we're gonna put the floor over there and start to make the furniture. Okay guys, do you know why this doggy is so sleepy? Because this doggy somehow managed to burn his rope that he was attached to outside. We really don't know how, but it's burned. And at the same time, there's a car that drove really fast away from us. So Charlotte went outside 
and we didn't see like the car go away i just went outside heard the car that had left and saw that neo was not there and the rope was cut so we thought someone had stolen him like that's the immediate response when you see when you hear a car drive far quickly like super fast away from you and it was weird because we we're in like a parking so why would you drive really fast up there anyway we had someone drive really fast saw that the rope was cut and, then... and we are on the parking of a private school so it's like not a bad place at all it's like a place where it's it's chill it's no problem and so shout out uh, shout we stole neo somebody stole neo so i i had cheat shoes on so i got rid of my shoes <laughs> and i just started to sprint into town in the direction of town and i sprint for like 200 meters to go in town and I saw nothing and I asked people if they saw a car leaving and they said no, 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 nothing. And then I saw a gendarmerie car, so the police. So I stopped them and uh, I said to meet me over there on the parking because uh, somebody stole our dog. And uh, so they came and they said we have to go to the police and uh, do a, a, statement. a statement. And uh, they said there's a camera in town, so we need to do the statement and then they can check the camera and everything. So I went to see my dad and I said, prepare the car, we're going to the police. And I said to Charlotte, go to the van, close the van and we go to the police. And actually when Charlotte came back to the van... I saw Neo run across, if you can see this gate over here, he just w walked across there. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And I was like, what the hell? Neo, you're here! How did you get free? And then we tried to like catch him and he was crazy running around like Wee, yeah, play, let's play, run around! And I was like in tears because I thought someone had stolen him and then also then in tears because we'd found him so it was like... <sighs> anyway, yeah. So nobody stole our dog because as I said that's a very stupid idea. Nobody wants to steal that dog. <laughs> it's a and now he's naked! Huh? Neo, you're sleepy poopski now. Oh, look at this sleepy doggy. Oh, no, no. Big nap. So, yeah, that was quite intense, but our dog is fine and we are fine. And let's. And they almost had a heart attack. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, I sprint like twice 200 meters full speed with no shoes. And uh, yeah, I hate running. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, I'm a smoker. So, <laughs> after. After that much running, I was pooped. <laughs> I was so pooped. Just as much as Neil. But yeah, okay, let's go on with our DIY. Okay, so it's, it's quite a few hours later now. Sorry, we haven't filmed anything. We've been focused. We fini oh, I finished the painting, mostly. Um, we might give it another coat, uh, maybe, but for now, I think it's okay. The only thing is, is that <laughs> Because this paint is two years old and this paint is now fresh, the colour is not exactly the same. So maybe we'll see, maybe we'll repaint the whole roof or maybe I'll just carry it along here or something, I'm not sure. I painted this and then also we have this part of the table in where Neo's dog food is going to go. Uh, and we have a beam here for the rest of the thing to sit on. And Enzo is just trying to finish the side. And this is where his dog food is going to fit, under here. So yeah, we're almost partially done. Yeah. Almost done for today. Just putting the floor down that we have left over, just so... We don't need to put it down, but I think it's going to look... It's going to look cleaner than having this disgusting piece Yeah, because floor. it's going to be a... Uh... Visible. Right. And with that, it's going to be a pain as well. But, I mean, it's just the under storage here, so... It's really just to to use the floor we had extra because we paid for it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, looks neat like this. We'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Don't forget to tune in next week to see how we get on with finishing our little renovation of our van Slyker. We'll see you next week, guys. Bye.